Why do you think it's important for you to be here to have these conversations? It's it's all part of an elaborate uh, effort at outreach that the State Department has uh, and has developed over the last some decades. You know, it didn't used to be uh, considered as important to help educate American audiences as it is today, but we've figured that out in recent decades. All right. But that it's important, and it's important that you can understand. In part, just for the educational aspect of it, but also so that people appreciate and can support what the government's doing. You know, why did we send a hundred thousand and more troops to Afghanistan, and how are we working in that region um, uh, to enable them to accomplish what they need to and finally come home? Right. That's. You've heard a little bit about some of the programs that are in place at some of these schools, talking about, you know, they're studying people, they're visiting these countries. I mean, is that kind of, you know, it's a cool educational thing for kids? I mean, how important do you think programs like that are? Look, I think that all of these people-to-people -people programs are what, what I would say cheap at the price. Because they aren't hugely expensive. Right. And, and I, I know for the right. individual community they might right. be, but they do make a link. And you'll have a number of Pakistanis, not just the people they meet, but the word will spread in the in the community. You know, well, those Americans aren't so bad. They're friendly and logical, right? right? Uh, you found <laughs> the same. You know, I mean, it's just, it's the old people-to-people -people thing. Right. Um, so I think it is important. You know, one of the most... Um, or I would say the most effective value for money programs that the U.S. government has are these exchange programs, um, where we bring, I mean, we had 26 Pakistani journalists at the State Department the other day, and they, it was part of a right. one-month tour, and they all had been in different newsrooms across the country right. for a couple of weeks, right. and, uh, you know, getting firsthand uh, exposure to um, right more sophisticated media mm -hmm. uh, techniques and, and uh, right. programs and so on. I think we actually had a Pakistani Daoud. journalist. Did you? Daoud did, yeah, yeah just it, was, recently. it was in our newsroom. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, know, you know, perfectly friendly, right. but why is it that my country is giving money to your right. country? Because, <laughs> you know, you're a bunch of terrorists. What is right. this? You're, yeah, exactly. And, and they were exposed to this, and, right. it, and it was fascinating listening to them mm -hmm. at the end of their time giving their takeaways, which were all exactly what we would want, right. frankly. So part of your message here, if I understand right, is yeah. to say, look, there's a lot that's, you're not reading when you read the New York Times or yeah. when you read the international section of the news journal. Yeah. Um, there's a lot that's going on that's very yeah. encouraging. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Well, anything else, um, like I said, a lot of material to draw from, from, yeah. from the, the talk you just gave. Anything else when you think about the efforts that are going on, why you're here? efforts that schools making, connecting with schools abroad, do you think it's important? Schools connecting with schools is huge. Mm -hmm. Education, I didn't talk a lot about education in my talk because I was trying to give the perspective. Right. Pakistan looks bad now, didn't start off bad, it's coming back. You know, right. that was the right. structure I was, mm -hmm. uh, was uh, uh, using there. Mm -hmm. um, so people understand that there are many levels of, <laughs> of truth and reality. Right. When you look at that film, uh, mm -hmm. And you see, yes, poor people are a reality. Mm -hmm. Yes, exquisite landscape is a reality. Mm -hmm. Floods are a reality. Uh, vibrant culture is a reality. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, a whole right. mix of realities right. there. Don't let the, the one news story you read about yeah. terrorist attacks or yeah, diplomatic exactly. right. Get it, blind you. Cool. And Pakistanis are extraordinarily warm and hospitable um, and, you know, interesting, ambitious, entrepreneurial, resilient, you know, a lot of qualities uh, that we admire right. cool. and that were qualities um, very pronounced in America in an earlier period right. and, and still to a great degree, but they tend to be more noticeable in countries where you have less right. and are striving more. Excellent. Listen, thank you so much. Okay. I really appreciate your help.